Hey everybody, so you know we're about a third or so away into the NHL season. At this point we have a pretty good idea of, of which teams are good, which teams aren't good, and you know what about around what level each team can play at at this point. Um, you know, teams are about 30 games in and we've seen enough to know you know what a team is. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk about which teams I think are legitimate Stanley Cup contenders and which teams are are pretenders. They're not Stanley Cup ready. Um, so for this, what I did is I have all 16 playoff te teams currently in playoff position. The Eastern Conference on this side, the Western Conference on this side. Um, you know, eight from each conference, obviously. And I'm going to talk about whether or not I think these teams are a con contender or not really a Stanley Cup contender. So I'm going to break it into four different possibilities. F, if I put an F next to the team name, that means I think that they're a Stanley Cup favorite. They should be one of the top teams picked to win the Stanley Cup and have a very, very good real shot at winning it. If I say if I put a C next to their name, that means that they're a Stanley Cup contender, but they're not as good enough for me to say that they're a favorite. But they do they can possibly contend for the Stanley Cup. If I put a question mark next to them, that means I don't they're in the middle of contender or pretender. I don't really know exactly. I haven't seen enough yet, or they've shown glimpses of being contender worthy, but at other times have shown that they're not um, so it's kind of still up in the air we have to see what happens the rest of the season or maybe they have injury problems and we need to see what they look like when they're fully healthy to know for sure and P is pretender now don't get mad if I call a team a pretender I'm not saying if I call them a pretender that doesn't mean that they're not a good team. That doesn't mean that they're not a playoff team. I think very, you know, definitely some of these teams I call a pretender will probably make the playoffs. I just don't think that they're Stanley Cup ready yet. They're not a team that's going to win four playoff rounds against the best of their conference and then the best of the other conference. They're not quite there yet. They're a good team. They're you know can be a playoff team. They could maybe even win a round in the playoffs. But they're not ready to go all the way to the Stanley Cup final and win the Stanley Cup yet. So let's get started, and we're going to start with the Western Conference. Um, Nashville currently atop the Central Division. Nashville to me is a favorite. Um, they should be one of the top teams picked to win the cup. They have tremendous defense, great goaltending. Their their offense, um, when they're healthy, they have plenty of offense. Now, they're struggling a little bit right now, but injuries have played a major role in that. Victor Arvidsson and Philip Forsberg are out. Those are their two top goal scorers. The, you know, Nashville isn't an offensive team to begin with, and you just took both their 30 goal scorers out of the lineup. They're going to struggle. So I'm not worried about Nashville because they're struggling with injuries right now to important major players. If For, you know when Forsberg and Arvidsson come back, they're going to be fine. Nashville is one of the absolute best teams in the league. They should be a favorite for the Stanley Cup. Winnipeg. Now Winnipeg hasn't been as dominant this year as they were last year. Um, they've they've had some ups and downs. I'm going to call Winnipeg a contender. They're not quite. You know their lack of dominance has has dropped them. I don't think they're a favorite, but I think they're absolutely a contender. This is a team that could easily win the Stanley Cup. This is a team that could certainly go on a run and get hot come playoff time and just bully through other teams, including teams like Nashville, which they did last year. Um, Winnipeg is a very real threat in the Western Conference. Colorado, they are also a contender. I love this Colorado team. Um, they've got a good one-two punch at goaltender with um, Volamov and Grubauer. They've got veteran guys in there now. Guy, you know, they brought in Ian Cole. They brought in Matt Calvert. They've got good goal scorers. They've got young players that can produce. I really, really like this Colorado team. Calgary. Calgary's getting a question mark because while they're the atop the Pacific Division right now, they're having a great season. 
there are still holes in that lineup. Um, Goaltending is a question. Is David Riddick going to play this well all season long? Can Mike Smith, you know, not get injured? Um, that's been an issue for him. Can he play a whole season and an entire playoffs without getting injured? Um, can he play at an elite level if he does stay healthy? Um, you know, is Riddick going to play? Is he going to take over the reins as a starting goaltender if he keeps playing lights out? There's still a lot of questions in Calgary, and this team has had a lot of talent for a number of years. Um, they always seem to underachieve. Now, they're not underachieving this year, but this is really the first time they're not underachieving. So I still don't know what to think of the Calgary Flames. Um, the San Jose Sharks, they're getting a question mark too, and they were you know, a contender borderlining on, on favorite at the start of this year. They've really not been all that great this year. I have not been overly impressed with what I've seen from the Sharks. So they've dropped down to a question mark just because I don't know what this team is. Um, I thought they were going to run away with the Pacific Division. I thought they were by far the best team in the Pacific Division. They haven't done that. They've played pretty poor hockey at times this year. I just don't know what to think with San Jose. The, the talent is there. The roster is there for them to be a legit contender maybe even a Stanley Cup favorite, but they haven't played that way yet this season, so I don't know what to think with them. Anaheim, Anaheim is a pretender. Um, I'm shocked Anaheim has been as good as they have been this year. I thought they were going to stink this year. I was expecting a huge drop-off from Anaheim. I can't, be really can't believe they're still in a playoff spot. They've dealt with tons of injuries. They've continued to win games. They're getting great, great goaltending from John Gibson. However, their, their roster is lacking. This is not a team that's going to go to the Stanley Cup final. This is not a team that can win four rounds in the playoffs. This is probably a team that doesn't win one round in the playoffs. So I think Anaheim is a pretender. Edmonton. They've moved up into playoff spot now, which is really, really exciting for them. They're in a wild card position. However... They're a pretender. Edmonton is not Stanley Cup ready. Um, they didn't even make the playoffs last year. For most of this season, they were out of playoff of a playoff spot. They've been really, really good since Ken Hitchcock took over, and that gives me a lot of hope that this team will make the playoffs, and I do think that they should be a playoff team, but I don't think that they're Stanley Cup ready. They're going to win a round in the playoffs at most, Um after that, they, 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 they just don't have what it takes to win against a team like Winnipeg or Nashville in the, in the playoffs in a seven-game series. And Dallas is also a pretender. This is not a team that is Stanley Cup ready. Um, they, they very well might make the playoffs. They could miss the playoffs. There are teams coming. Um, they're in the last wild card spot now. Um, I just don't think that they're they're uh, stan even close to Stanley Cup ready. Dallas will be a one and done in the postseason if they get in. Switching over now to the Eastern Conference, time to time to look at the East. And um, starting with Washington, they're a favorite. They won the Cup that last year. They proved that they can do it. Um, they they uh, are a fantastic team. Alex Ovechkin's playing incredible hockey. They're getting great goaltending. Um, they they've been on fire the last couple of weeks. Um, Washington's just a great team, so they're they're a Stanley Cup favorite. Columbus, they're a pretender. Columbus is is not Stanley Cup worthy. Um, they have a good team. They've played really good hockey at points this season. They they just aren't Stanley Cup level. Um, they don't have enough offense to be Stanley Cup level. Uh, their defense is pretty good. They get great goaltending from Sergei Bobrovsky, but he's a great regular season goaltender. He's shown time and time again that he can't win in the playoffs. Columbus never makes it past the first round. Um, they're, they're not going to be a Stanley Cup level team. The New York Islanders are also a pretender. They're, it's shocking that they're even in this position. They were supposed to be a, a you know really bad bottom of the league team this year with the loss of John Tavares. They've been a lot better than that. I think they've overachieved to this point in the season. They may make the playoffs. It's a possibility, but um, certainly not Stanley Cup level, so they're a pretender. Um, the Tampa Bay Lightning should be a favorite. They're getting an F. The Tampa Bay Lightning, I think, are the best team in the league. They're in first place in the Atlantic Division. They have the most points in the league at this point. Um, Tampa is a great, great team. 
They're they have I think the most complete lineup in the entire NHL from goaltending to defense to offense. They have it all. Um, when Andre Vasilevsky comes back from his broken foot, that makes them even better. They've been winning plenty of games without him. They're even better when he's in that. So uh, Tampa should be an absolute favorite. Toronto, absolutely a contender. Um, Toronto, I again, I don't like their defense. I think their defense is going to come back to bite them, especially come playoff time. I don't think that it's going to be overly bad for them in the regular season. I don't think it's going to damage their regular season or anything. Um, I think come playoff time, though, their lack of toughness in their defense is going to be a big, big problem because teams play big boy hockey in the playoffs. And if you watch Toronto play Boston the other night, Boston pushed Toronto around. Boston bullied Toronto and abused Toronto physically, and Toronto could not handle that. Boston easily won the game. And come playoff time, it's going to be real easy to beat Toronto just by beating the crap out of them because they have no they have no one who can respond to that. Um, so I think Toronto, they're a contender. I think that they have enough talent, especially up front, that they can win. Freddie Anderson is a very good goaltender, but they do have issues that keep them from being a favorite, notably their lack of toughness, lack of grit, which is going to kill them come playoff time, and their lack of defense, which I think can be taken advantage of. Their defense is not good. Buffalo, they're a pretender. Buffalo, um, they're in a playoff spot and have been in a playoff spot for a good chunk of this season. They had a 10-game win streak earlier in the year. Then they had a 5-game losing streak. They just broke that by winning last night. Buffalo is having a very, very good year. They're much better than the last place team they were last season. But they're not Stanley Cup ready yet. Do they make the playoffs? I absolutely hope so. And I think they would certainly have a chance to and have a pretty good chance to be a playoff team this year. However, I do not think that they're going to win deep into the playoffs. Um, they don't have the team that can win multiple seven-game series against teams like Tampa Bay, Toronto, or Washington, even Boston. Um, I, I don't see Buffalo going deep into the playoffs this year. Boston... They're getting a question mark because I think when healthy, they can absolutely be a contender. And I think they've shown that at points this year. But they've also really struggled with injuries and have shown looked downright bad at times. Um, Boston hasn't had Patrice Bergeron for a good chunk of time. Um, Zidane Char has missed a lot of this season. So we haven't really seen a lot of what they look like. And recently, especially, they've had a massive number of people out injured. McAvoy just came back. Um, it's tough to gauge this Bruins team because at times they look really, really bad. Like that 5 nothing loss against Florida, they looked like an AHL team. Uh, they lost to Detroit the game before that. They lost to Tampa Bay the game after that. And they looked like an AHL team. But then they've come back with three straight wins, including beating Toronto, beating Ottawa, and last night beating Arizona. Now, Ottawa and Arizona aren't great competition, but they blasted Toronto and really took it to them. So I feel like it's when healthy, they absolutely can be a, a contending team, and they can definitely win at least a round or two in the playoffs. Um, I think it's going to be hard for them to get by Tampa Bay or Washington, but they, they, they can. The, the roster is there when they're healthy that they could. So that's why I'm leaving them as a question mark because I don't want to call them a pretender because there is a very good roster and team there when they're healthy. We just haven't seen them when they're healthy all that, all that much this season and don't know exactly what they look like. And again, if you get a hot goaltender, if Tuka Rask or Yarrow Halak gets hot, then it could be a 2011 situation where Tim Thomas really carried the team to the finals and they ended up winning the Stanley Cup. If a goaltender gets hot, that's certainly possible with a Bruins team that they have this year. And lastly, Montreal. Montreal is a pretender. Montreal may make the playoffs. They may not. They're in the last wild card spot now. That remains to be seen. But if they do make the playoffs, they're not going all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Carey Price is not the goaltender that he used to be. This team, I don't think, has enough reliable offense. The defense core is obviously much better when, with Shea Weber back, but still not elite or even all that great compared to other defense cores around the league. Um, too many holes in Montreal's 
uh, lineup. I do think that it will be nice to see them make the playoffs, and I think they have a very good chance of making the playoffs, at least a very real chance of making it, but uh, they're not a Stanley Cup-level team. So with that, that's my opinion on which teams are contenders, pretenders, question marks, favorites, all that. Um, you can disagree with me. That's perfectly fine. Let me know why down in the comment section below. Agree, disagree, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. Check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, uh, the links to our Patreon as well as our merchandise store where you can get merch like this and other great uh, products and designs are also down in the description. Um, if you'd like to uh, for, you know, keep spreading the word about this channel, Let's keep this uh, thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys soon.